So Canva is by far my favorite design platform to recommend for print-on-demand sellers. It may not have all the capabilities of another more fancy design platform like Illustrator, but it really gets the job done when it comes to simple designs that sell. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through my top three favorite Canva design hacks. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first hack is one of my favorites. It was so helpful once I discovered I could do this because sometimes in Canva, it's frustrating because you find a design element you really wanna use, but when you click on it to adjust the color, you find that where the color box usually pops up here to change it, it doesn't come up. So it's only one color and you're stuck with one color. Or so you might think there's a workaround for this that's really, really simple and easy. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna select the element, go up to this top left edit photo button. We're gonna scroll to the FX tab and then scroll over to Duotone, okay? If you click on that, you'll see immediately all of these different color options that if you click on it, it just easily changes the color of that design element. So then what you can do if you're trying to get a very specific color is adjust the highlights and the shadows and the intensity of the highlights and shadows until you've got the color that you're looking for. So it takes just a second more, a couple seconds more, but it is very, very simple and straightforward. And it's really useful if you've got a design element that you just have to get a certain color and you really want to use it. The same thing applies for black elements as well. Now we can easily change the color of this one, but I'm just using this one as an example. If we go to edit image again, find duotone, change the color, it gives us the same option. So you can do the exact same process from a black design element as well. Okay, the second trick is super cool and one that you may never have thought of. So I always teach my students to change the background color of their Canva canvas to the main t-shirt or whatever product they're designing for, the main color that they see as the vision for what will sell the best for whatever design they're creating, right? So if you're creating a cottage core shirt or a, I'm sorry, a cottage core design, you might want sand as your background color. So something really soft and beigey like this. So you'd want to create your design on that background color. A lot of people have problems with this because they're like, well, I don't really know. I'm just sort of eyeballing it. I'm not sure how to get the background color to be close to the the t-shirt or the mug or whatever you're designing for. It doesn't have to be perfect, but this hack helps you to get as close as possible when you're creating the design. So let's say this is a grape colored comfort colors t-shirt. Okay. The color is called grape. Say you want to create a design and you think it'll sell best on this color. Under the color palette that we have here in Canva, you'll find your brand kit and you'll see I have a couple different palettes that I'm working with here. One of them I've already started is comfort colors. It's very easy to edit this as well. You just click, click this edit button in the top left. So these two comfort colors are uh, like a dark gray and I believe this is terracotta. How I get these for future reference, I can just come in here and click on them to get them immediately as a background. How I get these is the trick I'm going to show you next. So you want to pull up a mock-up and I did this just by uploading a mock-up and then dragging it to the canvas. And then what you want to do is go to your document colors. And then what you're going to do is go to add new color and then hit that color dropper tool bottom right. And what we're going to do is uh, go here and click on just, you don't want to get a highlighted portion. You want to get the, the best lighting possible to where it's not super bright. And what you do then is go to your brand kit, hit edit, and then hit the add new color wherever in whatever palette you want to add. And that's just going to pop up automatically. And then we're going to hit the enter button. And immediately that grape color is going to be in there and you can title it even grape so you know what you're working with. How cool is that? So the second option to make this way easier, but sometimes it doesn't happen exactly like this, but you can scroll down to photo colors and you'll see Canva has automatically kind of created a palette for this photo and you can click on this color and then hit the add new color and it's going to give you that one as well. So you can use the color dropper tool or if Canva automatically creates this template or this palette for you, you can do it that way as well. Then once you've got that color in there, you're gonna click 
anywhere outside of this area and it's going to prompt you to save the changes to the palette. And then now every time you go to create a new design, you could do this with every Gildan, Comfort Colors, Bella Canvas, whatever type of t-shirts or product you're using, you can create a palette for each one. And every time you go to create a design for that product, you're going to have all of your color options over here to the left. All right. And the final trick, one of my favorites, and I'm always shocked at how many people don't know that this is a possible thing to do in Canva, is if you're creating any sort of design where you need text box or design elements to align in a certain way. So say you want to create this let your light shine design and you want the text box to all be equal lengths apart and aligned from side to side, right? You can eyeball that, but it's going to take you some time and you're not going to be really sure if it's perfectly aligned. So I'm just going to move these around a little bit to show you how easy it is with this little hack. So say you've got all these text box, you want them perfectly aligned. What you're going to do is you're just going to select all of the text box and then you're going to go to position up here in the top right corner and then you're going to hit tidy up and that's going to snap all of the text box or design elements into perfect alignment. It really is that simple and you can do this vertically and horizontally as well you can kind of play around with what those mean but i usually just hit the tidy up button because it's the easiest one possible all right i hope you enjoyed those canva hacks i want to take a second to talk to you about the january 2024 wolf challenge this is something that i started last year and it was one of the biggest hits of offers i've ever launched in my be a wolf biz career it was so successful because this challenge is a 31 day throughout the entire month of January, a 31 day momentum starter. You're going to get a weekly challenge for all four weeks and we're going to have a kickoff call as well. In a second, I'm going to go behind the scenes and show you exactly what's included. But the purpose of the challenge is to help you get laser focused so you can make 2024 your biggest year yet. If you're looking to get massive results in your print on demand Etsy shop, this is the place you want to be. As always, you guys know I got the receipts. I'm never gonna promise you anything I can't follow through on. This is the feedback that came from students in last year's challenge. One of them said, okay, my listings from the challenge are now officially getting more traction than any listing I posted in 2022. This is wild. Things usually never pick up this quick. Another student said, the templates are awesome and sparked so many ideas. My creative juices are flowing like they haven't in months. Could you make this any easier for us? And somebody else said, just made a sale for my week one challenge listing. Such a quicker turnaround on time. Normally it takes a few weeks or longer. And you can pause here if you want to read the rest of these testimonials. And these are just a few of all of the incredible results that students had from taking the challenge in 2023. Here's a little sneak peek into the behind the scenes of what last year's challenge looked like. This year's will be a little bit different, but you'll get the gist of sort of what you'll be receiving for the whole challenge in general. So the kickoff call happens in the first week, then the replay becomes available here. This is just sort of a time to get pumped and to talk about what the challenge will entail in depth and to get some questions and feedback and other things rolling in that first week. And then there's also the week one challenge, which is going to be a weekly thing that comes up for all four weeks of January. So every Monday you'll receive a specific challenge with design templates that I've created for you to help you get off the ground with the challenge that is given. So you'll get four of those. And then there's the bonus vault, which will have this year's design critiques. I'll open up the exclusive Facebook group thread in there to where you can post your designs if you so choose, totally optional. And I'll do a pre recorded design critique video there and then drop it in the bonus vault for you guys. And then any lives, any motivational mindset lives that we do in that exclusive Facebook group as well during the challenge will be dropped into the bonus vault as well. And then you have uh, all of these modules for a lifetime. It's lifetime access. They do not get taken away at the end of January. So you don't necessarily even have to participate in January. If you're going to be out of town or you're really busy or whatever, you can do the challenge on your own time in February or March or April or whenever you have that time to go back and do it, it can be on your timeline. You do not have to follow along exactly with what we're doing in January. So you can get into the challenge, do it on your own time. All right, so if you're ready to rock and you want into the Wolf Challenge for January 2024, click the link below this video. There will be early bird pricing for a very limited time only. So make sure right after you see this video, you click that link right away and get into the challenge because that early bird pricing will go away quite 
quickly. I can't wait to see you on the inside. This new year is going to be one for the records.